Okay, we got a keyboard. And in this same video, I got me a light up cooler from. This is just the unboxing video. Light up cooler for a bunch of different sockets for computers. There that will be. It says tested. Uh, I bought it new. I hope it works. <laughs> uh, this would be the keyboard and mouse combo for only $15 off Amazon. I thought that was super cheap. Um, not really for me. I build computers and then sell them. So uh, we'll just see how good a quality it is. What it looks up like lit up and so on. And it comes with a mouse. That's all that's in that box. Mouse pad. Very nice. It's a non-slip material. Pretty big. It's bigger than a normal mouse pad. Um, definitely. That looks good. Put that over there. You guys can hear my vacuum cleaner in the background. Here's the mouse. Ooh, looks pointy. I like how it's raised right there so it isn't uh, gouging your stuff. Uh, the click. Where's the click at? I don't feel any click. Yeah, I'm not feeling any click. I'm going to have to plug it in and see what it does. There's the underneath of it. It looks like the old style where you twist it out and a ball would come out. Yeah, I'm not getting any clicks out of this. Is there a paper I have to pull? There, I pulled it up a little bit. Uh, most of the reviews are the people saying, Oh, I love the mouse. The mouse is what's worth it. Okay, we'll get into that. Once we plug it in, maybe it'll activate something. USB cord. It is the nicer USB cord. It's braided. Braided so it's not just some cheap chintzy cord. Here is the keyboard itself. I think it was pretty good. Oh, it looks really good, even shut off. Never quite understood that that right there. Didn't expect much for this. Now my vacuum cleaner is going to come in here and say hello, I guess. I'm going to test it out. Doesn't feel as firm as like the old 90s keyboards. They all feel like they're in place. None of them are popped out. Some people had a problem where it was, uh, they were popped out. And they had to tear them apart and try to fix them. Okay, now let's see it plugged in. Okay, plugging it in. Got a little laptop right here. It's changing colors, really nice has the red and then whatever it's going through up here there is no click I am trying to click none of the clicks are working yeah I have nothing the scroll wheel works So I'm guessing I'm going to, oh, it annoys me that it doesn't work. The back button works, forward button works. Uh, just the clickers don't work. Okay, we'll plug in the keyboard, see if it's defective too. Straight out of the box. Let's see if there's anything on the instructions. RGB, now if you want to read this, screenshot it. Change automatically. DPI was the top. Lifetime warrant. Lifetime warranty. Holy cow, that's a bold uh, statement there. Okay, let's plug in this keyboard. I'll just uh, push a bunch of buttons to see what all it does. Plug it in. Computer's trying to figure out what the heck that is. And.
I'm gonna have, I'm doing this live. I didn't pre-do it, so I got to. Okay, so that works. Now let's just get the lights working. It's really hard to see them because they uh, pause break. If there's any extra buttons, web. There, not focus a little bit better for you guys. That's the normal stuff. Print screen. I don't know what all that does up there. There's a. Nope, everything's normal buttons. It's just not lighting up. There's no instructions as I showed. Nothing. Let's see if the keyboard even works. That worked good. Put hey you how you doing and then on Amazon it looked something up. I don't maybe there's a button you flip. It's very chintzy. It it feels like it's it feels like it's coming apart right here. I don't know if you guys can see that. See the gap right there. It feels like it's kinda of coming apart. Uh it's cool to see down into the keys. Um, there's a couple springs right there. There's a spring there, right there. That's pretty cool that you can see that, I guess. <laughs> um, I don't like these big mechanical keyboards. I like the ones that are on laptops. They're a lot quicker response. And they last just as long as these things. So what turns that on? There's the FN button. FN... And there's no other button to do with FN other than these top ones. I guess this could be it. There, there's little rocket buttons right here. Maybe I gotta do FN in one of these. It'd be nice if it came with instructions. Uh, it's getting returned anyways or exchanged. No, nope, I don't. Yeah, I'm gonna unplug it and plug it back in, see what it does. Unplugged. Plugged back in. Let's see if my computer's coming up with any type of software that it may need installed to run this. And it is not. It's saying ready to go. Logitech. Oh, man, that's the wrong keyboard. <laughs> That comes right up. Just won't light up. Guess that's a downside of this. Okay. I went to click return on this, but I was like, hey, I wonder if this even lights up right. Or even looks how I want it to look for the resale value. Doesn't need to be no $45 keyboard. It's just something cheap. It's actually it's a scroll lock button. You push it. Lights right up. Looks a lot better in the camera than it does in real life. Um, it's very nice because it lights up through the keys. Instead of just around them. A lot of laptops, uh, it, you can't see it. It lights up around it. This is really nice that it lights up through it. doesn't have different modes. There's still something else I haven't figured out yet. But scroll lock is what turns it on. There you can see that spring. Yeah, I definitely like, I would say it's about a $10 keyboard because it flexes when you use it, it it's, it's not the best. But yeah, I figured it out. I don't understand why that has to be lit up like that. They could have put their name in the corner or something, but yeah, hopefully this helps. So I got the RGB working on that. It just kind of stays its color, which doesn't bother me for the price. This changes its color automatically, which is nice. I've tested everything out, and remember at the beginning of the video, it didn't work. Well, now I've been playing with it, so I didn't have to return it. And you can pry these up. And inside there, see that little white prong that's sticking up? It was shoved down beyond what this thing could click it. Um, you can tell it's cheap. It probably only lasts me a month or so because I use it so much. But it doesn't have a good return on it. So I reached in there with a pencil, popped it up. Um, I gotta watch what I'm doing because I'm actually playing a game. <laughs> this one clicks.
did the same thing to the other side. There was a little white clip in there that just was shoved down way too far. It was shipped with a cover over it that I thought would have saved it. I think they should have put something in there to stop it from crunching down all the way. Uh, wires is not quite my forte. There's wires all over the place. I like my LG or LG, my Logitech Anywhere mouse and my Logitech K10. They're perfect. The keystrokes are a lot lower than what these are. I've been using it now for about half an hour. It isn't too bad. Just playing some GTA with it. Um, uh, but it is nice that it lights up. And my buddy has a $100 keyboard. And uh, I showed it to him just now. And he's like, that's nicer than mine. I'm like, no, 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 no. Uh, I think I would spend a little bit more money. Get a little bit better quality. 